Welcome everyone. My name is Hauke Gerdes and I'm the creative director of Coreborn Nations of the Ultra Core, a social survival sandbox game currently in early access. Today I have the pleasure of presenting the game to you on behalf of our whole team. But before we dive right in, let me just quickly express again how valuable your feedback is to us. We strongly believe that hand in hand with you, our community, we can shape this game into something truly remarkable. So please join our Discord and let us hear your thoughts and ideas. And give us a Steam review. It helps us a lot. But now, let us explore and see what the vast and captivating world of Tormentosia has to offer for us. Here we are, the beauty of Ambrose right beneath our feet. As you can see, the landscape is quite diverse, but let's check that out in practice. These are the mossies, and that's a mossotops charging after me right there. Multiple biomes, each unique with wildlife, resources and climates, make the world of Corborn come to life. Oh, two more mossotops. They almost seem gentle from right up here. We transition to the mountains at this point. These ice deer, harmless. Until you bother them. But there's more than just wildlife that's a threat to you, which is best shown up here. Behold the duality of beauty and pain. The landscape at the top is just incredible, but it comes at a price. What you just witnessed was the effect of freezing cold weather on our player. But this site is clearly worth it. Still, let's go somewhere less harmful. I'll return once I have the right equipment. I took us to a more cozy place. That weather did some damage and I should heal myself. How about some smoky jib cups? We'll need some jib cups and reed puffs, which I can find in rivers for this recipe. Time to gather some resources. Lucky enough, there are many rivers all over, so let's fetch the reed puffs first. Just a few more to ensure we have enough. Perfect. Next up, we need to find jib cups. Time to check your handy F1 guide. Grows in the shade. Sounds like trees to me, so we'll head there. There we have trees, and there we have our chip cup. But we'll need a few more to craft ourselves the smoky goodness. Now that we have all our ingredients, it's time to craft some food. Just pick the food category, select how many we want, and done. Let's check our inventory. Into the quick slot for easy access. Additionally, we found resin, some plant fiber, and the dubie which is of a higher quality, indicated by the green background. We already have what we need for the axe, but we should eat our jib cups before foraging for new materials. Yep, we definitely needed that. Okay, I've been gathering materials for a bit now and... Oh, we found a mystery pouch! I mentioned earlier that there's more ways to obtain recipes, and this is one of them. Let's open it and check what we have found. A schematic for rhubarb juice, slowly expanding my list of craftables. Again, some recipes require a certain station or skill to be crafted. Same for our rhubarb juice. What a beautiful spot to establish our town. First, the town center, the heart of our community. To provide a clear path to our town center, we'll add a town gate right on the outskirts. That's some good pathing. Now that our town center is set, let's see what else there is. First, we can find our town name up here. I'm gonna set our new home as my spawn point, just in case. And this is our wrath meter, which becomes more important later on. Next. To open a whole new world of culinary goodies, we'll craft our cooking station. As shown, within a town we can build crafting stations or building pieces of our own. Making this our personal space within this world. Just give me a minute to spruce this place up a bit. Oh, we finished just in time. 
Looks like we have visitors. Or even future town members. Yes, these are two guys I've previously met in Korheim. The capital of Tormentosia serves as our social hub, where players from all servers can come together to trade and form new bonds. We exchanged friendship invites, and it looks like they took the chance to jump to my server and join our town. We need a proper weapon. No defending our town without. Oh, looks like we are being taken care of. Always good to have friends fighting by your side. We'll thankfully accept and... Our fellow town member just gave us all the materials to craft a nice new greatsword. Oh wow, better chest armor and also some condensed essence crystals too. Those are used for town upgrades. Usually we have to get those in Korheim from the vendor. Thanks a lot for that. We look amazing. Thanks again. So, these parts usually can be crafted at crafting stations and combined. These three, a handle, crossguard and blade, form a brand new unique weapon. We'll simply put each part into its place and over here we can even see the stats of the weapon we are putting together beforehand. This just looks badass if you ask me. Looks like my new friend approves. But wait, there's more. We got a second type of our blade from that trade. Let's try it out and compare. This weapon differs greatly from the previous one in stats and looks. Strong falcon of opportunity. Nice. Let's see what it looks like. Huh. Both look really cool. But I think I'll stick to this one. Let's put our new blade to the test now. There has to be an Oropala somewhere around here. Aha! Uh-oh. I didn't even see that second one. Oh, someone came to join us. This nearly feels unfair. See how we can dodge the telegraph tactically and take advantage of the time it buys us. Doing combos and making use of your finishes deals a nice amount of damage with this blade. These poor guys never stood a chance. Almost forgot to loot though. Good thing it's a shared reward and everyone gets something. If you ever need some confidence, Hit a cheese beaver with a shiny new toy. This surely must have given us some good boost to our XP. Oh yes it did. Awesome! By signing one of these icons to your skills, you can decide if you would like to freeze, focus on or lose XP in a certain field of expertise. Then we have our perk points here. Since I passed a new milestone, I can choose a new upgrade for my character. There's a large pool of different skills you can gain experience in and therefore unlock more recipes, abilities and other benefits, which will help you not only build a character that suits your playstyle, but also solidifying your special role in the towns you join amongst your friends. Ha! Now I feel stronger. I'm equipped with a solid new blade and I'm wearing something to protect my tushy. Feels pretty good, if you ask me. You know, I think we're ready to defend our town from Sorgoth and his minions. We have solid defenses in place, so let's take our stand. Remember those condensed essence crystals our new friend gave us? I will trade those in to increase our town wrath and level our town. Oh wow, five minutes until they attack? Let's see what they've got. These fate veer look unlike any of the ones I've seen so far. It's important that we protect the town center from their attacks, so we'll split up. Great teamwork. But that's just the first wave. As we speed this rest period up, you can see the night to day transition. Good thing those palisades are there to distract the corrupted fate wheel. This buys us time to properly set up our attack formation. That second wave took up some of our morning and wave 3 has us fighting corrupted Teriva now. But with finishes and dodging, we're doing pretty well together. Sorgoth's Gothkin are here for wave 4. And their attacks are really hurting our defenses. I'm even starting to take some damage. 
Good thing our friend gave us that forged chest plate. But the good news is, our town center is still standing. Wow, even the palisades left standing are barely holding on. However, it doesn't get easier. It's going to take all of our efforts to withstand the final wave and keep Sorgoth and his minions at bay. How cool! Look at the glow emanating from that Gothkin! And another! And another! They are really focusing on the town center! I'm going to take some wide swings to cleave them all at once! We did it! We fought them off! That was fun! Our coordination made that a lot easier than it probably usually is. This won't be the last attack of this kind. As we continue to assert our rightful place in this world, Sorgoth will only increase his efforts to spread hatred towards our town. Let's return to Korheim. It's time to find more people willing to take up this fight against Sorgoth with us. Home sweet Korheim. With some old faces and some new ones. I can't wait to get started. Thanks for tuning in today and joining us on our journey into the world of Corborn, Nations of the Ultra Core. There's plenty more to come, both for you and for us. Because as an early access game, we still have a lot of development to do before full release and simply couldn't do that without your support. So stay in touch, share your thoughts and ideas and keep helping us to make this game the best it can be. Thanks again.